so this is uh, the piece um, that I have been showing you in process and um, it's framed now it's under plexi and ready to go to a show um, some of the decisions that maybe you saw in the early stages or at least the question marks that I had have changed so I moved from the blue dots um, that I was quite content with towards something warmer and a little bit more open um, in the field um, than those original um, you know blue dots again it's interesting the blue family that I thought I was going to head towards changed and sifted I looked at greens I looked at yellows I looked at reds and oranges I came back to the reds and oranges at the end of it all um, because they felt intense enough to me to support the stillness of the figure and extend um, how I felt about them which was yes they're stationary and they're static in their chairs but they're not static at all they're um, there's an intelligence kind of brewing brewing you know I make up words all the time guys sorry um, but there's something happening under the surface so the engagement of their hands their feet the tilting of their heads or not um, the, the tipping in towards each other of their shoulders the long kind of line that travels from his hands um, across her um, these are all considerations in choosing a gesture and and the base the field either again supports or denies that in this case the figures are so sculptural but they're a flat cut out design the field is so flat but there's space within the design and pattern so there's an interesting it from my standpoint tension between those spaces and it becomes a little bit like memory to me or um, time passing when I look at that kind of juxtaposition um, so I am interested in the pattern growing as it gets lower it's shifted from the reds of the higher space um, and when the reds are varied reds so there is um, some patterning that's um, you know almost again like the wallpaper I grew up with in my house um, some that's quite floral which is a nod in some ways to Kristen the model for um, the image um, and I don't know if I pointed this out to you but the silhouette of his head um, to her side and her head to his side um, it is again some sort of suggestion about how they are as a couple as much as um, they present themselves in the foreground um, so I'm interested in this kind of evocation of space um, and denial at the same time um, this interest in form and weight and then again a denial um, there is a sense of time passing and, and the evaporating of things that are right now, you know, moving past us. But at the same time, I really want this sense of solid figuration of, of people that are in my lives, um, almost as if they've traveled through time. You know, so in this instance, if the couple came from biblical time period as Adam and Eve, if the couple came from, you know, 1500s as um, a poet and his wife who knows you know like there, there's just a continuity between the total um, that I'm interested in there's a continuity between a figure from hundreds and hundreds of years ago um, to the figures that we find today and an empathy between all of those figures and um, somehow you know that keeps persisting in my work that, that um, sensory um, observed space, um, that, that sense of tactility combined with a sense of um, time passing and generations, generation shifting. Um, you know, it's hard to articulate what, what an image is. It's why you make the images in the first place. Um, but I try. I mean, I really uh, work hard to understand what it is that I'm after so that I can share it more concisely um, with you guys. So, pardon my lack of articulation, <laughs> and I'll get this up for you, and um, you'll understand a little bit further, you know, what I think about um, in the process of making things, why, you know, I didn't mention this either, but, you know, simple things like cut out shapes, um, I love them, I think, I'm certain they're part of my 
childhood. You know, when you grow up, you're cutting things out all the time. You do school household projects. You do, you know, things for yourself or others that involve cutting. Um, it's a simple idea, but it's a beautiful raised line that also reminds me um, of so many other forms of art that I love. Um, certainly Egyptian low relief um, is among that. So, um, you know, I'll try to keep filtering. I'll try to keep editing as I make things. I'll try to keep, you know, making sense. And, and I guess that's the biggest challenge of all, right? What we do with our thinking processes um, combined with what we do with our making, our willingness to make, our desire to make that's innate to us. Um, okay, thanks.